We just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a series, the start of a series, that I had planned for shortly right after the Godzilla 2014 film came out. And uh, of course, with the Kaiju uh, Fantasy Battle tournament starting and some other uh, videos I was doing, never got around to starting it until now. <laughs> so this one, we're going to pit Godzilla 2014 against every... Uh, at least every known kaiju to the universe, at least the Toho uh, kaijus, including his other iterations. So this one, we're going to start it off with Godzilla 2014 versus Godzilla 1954, who I think would win in a one-on-one -on -one match. So we look at the two, and immediately the first thing that's different is size, okay? Uh, even though in the American version of 1954, uh, they were quote-unquote saying that Godzilla was over 400 feet, uh, his actual scale was about 164 or 168 feet, somewhere around there, but I know it was like in the 160s, where this new Godzilla is a little over 300 feet. So right away, you're looking at a double size difference uh, from 2014 to 1954. Uh, I would, I would uh, go, I would think it's safe to say that their time and breath is probably equal in power, um, and that's kind of trying to be a little bit fair towards 54. The, the atomic breath for the Toho Godzillas really didn't start getting a little bit uh, out of control until the 90s with the high size series but uh, up until then uh, you know before that point we're looking at a, a pretty pretty reasonable strength blast uh, definitely can do damage to buildings and things of that nature uh, do a little bit of damage to monsters but as I said in my other video uh, regarding the strength of the breath I think that the older Godzilla movies his breath was you know the monsters used to, used to take it pretty well but as, as much as it pains me to say this because I, I love Godzilla 2014 but of course, you always love the classic. You always admire the classic. And, and I really have to let, uh, put nostalgia aside here and say that I think the 2014 would win, unfortunately, pretty soundly. Uh, you know, just the size comparison difference is uh, in and of itself enough to pretty much do him in. Uh, even if they were to exchange blast, uh, I think the size and the power coming from the larger Godzilla would definitely do a little bit more damage, if not a lot more damage, to the 1954 Godzilla. Uh, you know, in terms of brute strength and going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I mean, you could argue that the 54 Godzilla has a lower center of gravity, so he could get underneath the uh, 2014 Godzilla and maybe uh, try and push him around, but that that's stretching it. <laughs> I think for the most part, a tail whip from uh, Godzilla 2014 to uh, Godzilla 54 would pretty much supplant him and knock him out for the count. So, um, yeah, so that that's that. <laughs> now... The other thing is these two monsters, obviously, from two very different timelines. So the question is, if you were to scale 54 up, uh, then I think it would be a more even match. I think they're very similar in, in uh, you know, if they were the same size, I think they'd be very similar. I think the only other advantage I would give 2014 is that he was designed to be a little bit more agile. And when I say agile, I don't necessarily mean, like, faster. But he could actually move and bend in ways that the 54 could not. And that could be an advantage, you know, um, if Godzilla, and this is talking if they were the same height, if Godzilla 2014 were to do a tail whip, I don't see 54 ducking, or at least ducking in time, to dodge it. Whereas if the 54 version did it to 2014, because we've already seen the new Godzilla kind of hunch over, and when he roars, he's kind of like in a line with his tail up, I could see him at least dodging it, if not uh, avoiding a full blunt of the attack. Plus, I think the 54 Godzilla would have, a, it would take a little bit longer for him to do it than the 2014. But to keep it as it is, the true definition of these two versions of Godzilla, uh, you have to keep 54 at its height, which is 164 feet roughly compared to the 300 plus feet of 2014. And uh, you pretty much have a match that uh, I think Godzilla 2014 pulls out. So uh, so that's it. I mean, I know it's a short video, but there really is no argument here to go into too much detail. Uh, the height differential makes all the difference. And that's going to be the big difference for the 2014 Godzilla versus the many of the early Godzillas and other monsters until we get further into the series where they scale Godzilla up uh, pretty sound, you know, a great deal uh, going forward. So, but, uh, so that's it. Like I said, this is going to be the start to a series that I had planned for a while. I just hadn't started yet. 
And like I said, we're going to go starting from 54, going all the way up with Godzilla facing not only his different iterations, but other classic kaiju monsters, probably in the Toho universe. And we're going to break down their powers and their sizes and see how Godzilla 2004 measures up to all the other Toho monsters. And when it's all said and done, we'll see what his record was. And, and that'll be, uh, I, th I think that'll be pretty interesting to see how he measures up against uh, the Toho world. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a series, the start of a series, that I had planned for shortly right after the Godzilla 2014 film came out. And uh, of course with the Kaiju uh, Fantasy Battle tournament starting and some other uh, videos I was doing. Never got around to starting it until now. <laughs> so this one, we're going to pit Godzilla 2014 against every, uh, at least every known Kaiju.